how do you effectively use conflict in your story so you keep your audience's attention, they don't get bored, and they want to stay to the end to see how the conflict is resolved? I'm going to go find that answer in the next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you were introduced to the concept of conflict and why it's important in stories. It creates curiosity. How do you effectively use conflict in your stories? Well, there are two ways not to do it. One is the rolling sidewalk effect. I'm using the word sidewalk, but think about those uh, rolling platforms or whatever you call them in airports. They're walkways. You can step on them. They move you forward, but they don't go up or down. They just move you at a level pace. Many stories that I listen to have this kind of conflict. It doesn't really escalate. Think about the movie Titanic. What if the director, James Cameron, had shown Titanic hitting the iceberg, a little bit of water seeping in and then stopping? There would have been no tension, right? It would have been a boring story. On the other hand, the extreme I often see is that people rise their conflict too quickly. Imagine if James Cameron had had Titanic hit the iceberg and then three minutes later the boat sank. No tension, right? Much too fast. The way to correctly use conflict in your story is what I call the mall escalator approach. You start with a little bit of tension and you build and you build and you build. To use the Titanic example, Titanic hit the iceberg and he showed some water coming into the ship. Then we saw some people eh, beginning to feel the stress and strain of the situation, but they thought they'd be rescued. And as the water level rose throughout the bottom, some people started to, to feel like their lives were in danger, and eventually some of them drowned. And it kept escalating all the way to the climax of the movie where the ship sank to the bottom of the ocean. It took time for him to show the rising water, and all the while we were wondering, sitting in the theater, who would live, who would die. How does this work in business stories? Same way. If you're selling a product or service, show a client who's in some kind of conflict and then escalate that conflict as they realize that they don't know how to do this on their own. When you reach the high point of the conflict, that's where you will come in and make their lives better. And we'll talk more about that in the next C, which is the climax of the story. For right now, remember to build your conflict in three steps. In business stories, you don't have 10 minutes to tell a, a conflict like you do in, in the movies. Just three quick steps, small amount of tension, medium amount, and then high tension, and then it gets solved. Use conflict in this manner, and you'll create a story that people will stay riveted to and they'll talk about long after you speak. Tomorrow you'll hear about the fourth C out of the seven C's to sensational storytelling. This is where the conflict becomes resolved. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.